Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from DIY E65, E66.com, and we got a little situation here which we're gonna be fixing today. So if you guys have experienced this, I'm gonna show you how to fix it if for some reason that your little clips have broken off. Now, as we can see here, my mirror right here on the outer edge, the cover, unfortunately, it is dismantled. Now, the way it goes on, of course, is like this with the little wind fins up on the top. Now, let me tell you a little quick backstory real quickly here. Now, this has happened many a times to other people. I've done a little research myself and, well, with garage or parking pillars, unfortunately, that is the culprit right there. I have a one car garage and it's just <laughs> perfect for my car, but unfortunately, I snagged it just at the right time before it broke even more, but it bent it back a little bit. Now, if these mirrors had a better design where they could fold this way or this way in the case of that, then of course that would not happen, but it literally clipped it right here, right where the cover was, popped the cover off, and it actually destroyed a little piece of that as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this as well, and unfortunately, some of the clips are actually stuck in there, I think two of them, and so there's actually clips that are still good, which is awesome because that is a little bit of a plus. Now, if you don't have any clips, of course, you're gonna have to use more JB Weld, but that's how I'm gonna fix this. And I'm gonna be using quick JB Weld that actually dries black, and so it's gonna blend in really nicely here. I have my JB Weld up here, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing even parts. Again, this is quick JB Weld. I'm gonna be doing even parts, so however much you put of this one, you wanna put equal parts of this one. I'm gonna be stirring it up with a uh, knife or fork here, plastic fork, and just use stuff that you can throw away after you're done, little plastic plate there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it on. So the inside of the cover here, again, I do have some pins right there and there, and that one is broken off right there, but that one is still good. And that one down there is still good, so we're looking okay. It just clipped it off as we can see right there. So what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean this outer area here. We're just gonna take a rag and some water, clean that up exactly where I'm gonna be putting the JB Weld. We're gonna be cleaning that up, cleaning this up, cleaning this up down here. And if I need some extra hold, we're actually gonna be using JB Weld through this area right here as we slide it on. Let me show you the other side what it looked like after I broke that mirror and fixed it with JB Weld. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's dry right here. And this mirror actually broke off significantly. Another driver hit my mirror, busted it forward. This I actually purchased on eBay, matte blacked it, and was able to pick up a, another mirror right here. Now, so this is what it looks like right here. This is all JB Weld right here and right here and it has held up great for probably a three year period. There was one time where I actually had to redo it because I think someone walked by my car and literally nailed it and that kind of loosened it up a little bit where it would shake a little bit. So I redid it about a year later. But other than that, it has held beautifully, beautifully. And not to mention I saved a ton of money doing it myself even though it was the other driver's fault. I was able to have a nice payday and fix it myself and save a ton of cash. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing that same thing and blending it in real nicely here. And I would have a wet rag next to you just in case if you smear any over instead of putting it on your fingers or hands, you would just wipe it up with kind of a wet rag, the part that is dripping over or whatnot if you didn't you know, get it in there with a knife really, really nicely. So let's go ahead and proceed now. All right guys, that's the color you're gonna get. It's kind of a uh, dark matte gray black. And then I've gone up here and I've already replaced the little piece. I was able to recover that as well. I put JB Weld all under the bottom of that. Of course, it's clean, and that is pushed in, and that will dry and cure in about 24 hours, but dry really nicely in about seven minutes. You do have to work a little quick with the quick JB Weld. And so now what I'm gonna do, it looks like it's gonna hold pretty nicely here. Of course, this one's broken here, and I believe, actually, this one's still good here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put a little JB Weld right here, and maybe tack it down just a little bit maybe right over here or maybe pop just a little bit in there as well because I don't want that cover popping out on me because just one of those covers is like 50 bucks on eBay and I'd rather not have that drop on the freeway while I'm going. So anyway, uh, we were able to save it and so let's go ahead and just pop a little JB Weld right here, put it on, maybe seal it with a little bit more, maybe up top or maybe on the bottom so it's a little less noticeable and then we'll go ahead and proceed from there.
and you'll feel it kind of snap into place on some of those little mounts there. And again, just drive it in and it'll lock in really nice right here, guys. And so what we're gonna do again, we're gonna go ahead and just be a little bit cautious and we'll go ahead and seep a little bit in the bottom side of it here. 